What is going on guys, Hex coming back again today with a brand new video and as always down in the title below with the topic we're talking about today and when Kono Super Season 2 is now out, I'm <laughs> I'm so happy I got to see that next episode because I actually just got done rewatching it like 20 minutes before it actually came out so I was right there, you know, I felt like I was just going on watching the next episode which that's what I wanted to do so that's why I rewatched in the first place but we're starting off this first episode with one, darkness getting called easy because Everyone in this, in, in this guild, let's just start with everyone in the guild. Everyone in the guild is, is, is POSs. They'll stand up for you until, yeah, well, they'll stand up for you if, if they know they're safe. If they're not in danger of being prosecuted or anything like that, they're good to go. But they know, you know, even though they know you're innocent, as soon as they, they mention that prosecution word, everyone gave up. But, dark, hey, darkness was still there. Whether it was for the right reasons and the, or the wrong reasons, given they were most definitely the masochistic reasons, she was still there for him, right? She was still there. And darkness is the truth. That's what we find. We find out in this episode, darkness is best girl. If someone argues that with me, once again, I will go crazy. Because we, she even busted out the family crest. And we'll get to that in a minute. So, we go on and they try to bust them out. Just no, every night. Every night they just try to bust them out. And the first time, I'm just like, alright, he's doing a lock pick. And I'm like, oh shit, it's a combination lock. What, what's he going to do now? How are they going to get him out? No. Cosma grabs the lock pick throws it out the window and just says it looks like I'm going to bed I give up yeah I'm just like what <laughs> give it I understood it but I was just kind of like accept accepting fate that easy and that, that, that was my train of thought accepting fate that easy but then they come back the next night they come back the next freaking night I'm just kind of like no are they is this just gonna be a, a repetitive thing it just keeps it happening this episode I was like please stop because Aqua's a dumbass she one she brings a box and saying hey I need to give this to Cosmo for a present thinking that she can give him a, a stepping stool basically one how in the hell did you even think about getting that through the bars and two a hacksaw you know these are steel you know a steel prison these are steel bars I'm just kind of like, she's dumb. She's a strong, hey, she's a strong dumbass. Like I said, I had someone in the comments that started, started laughing when I said that. It's truth. Do you see, do you see where I'm coming from? She is the a strong ass dumbass. But now let's hop to the prosecution. So basically, uh, <laughs> Cosmo gets actually exposed in this episode. He gets exposed in the sense of, he's telling the truth, but he's not, you know, you know, he's not. He's telling what's in his head, and it's the truth, but he's not speaking from the heart. So, such as, I came here to defeat the Devil King. No, he came here because he wanted to experience a video game. Because he thought it was gonna be dandelions and rainbows. He, he thought it would be fun getting money and having all this money and girls just falling over him. He came here for the RPG experience. That's what he came here for. <laughs> it's like, oh hell no. And did anyone else notice the? The the warden or whatever the prosecutor did you did anyone else notice her like two personalities really like innocent sweet and shy and then like stone cold fox I guess she's a dick <laughs> I mean quite quite frankly and as soon as she gets the opportunity to prosecute someone she does she does because it makes her look better obviously and now a lot of you guys may have not have understood or may have just missed it what happened at the actual court session. Okay, so the woman asked him, are you are you affiliated with anybody in the Devil's Army? You know, the Devil King's Army. And yes, he's affiliated to Wiz, as we all know. She said, are you associated though, right? So associated means friends with whatever with, you know, acquaintances, whatever. Now, in the courtroom, they actually asked, does he work for them? And no, he doesn't, obviously he doesn't work for them. That's where Cosmo's like, you just set me up. Was, he, loved it. he loved it. And that's, you know, it's about how you phrase things. It's all about the phrasing. That's probably going to be the title of the video. It's all about that phrasing, boy. But, um, the, the, oh, God. Some of the arguments were just shitty as hell that he's getting accused of in the courtroom. I just started laughing. I was like, okay, not even giving people time to speak. Given, yeah, Cosmo kind of got exposed again. He is, he's a piece of shit. Quite frankly, Cosmo's. He's a piece of shit. But um, we actually have Darkness, the best girl, um, busting out the family crest, even though now everyone knows she is La Latina. Now she's part of the Destiness family. So, well, like, again, once I, once I said, I was talking about royalty in my video, the, you know, my video the other day about Konosuba, and apparently she's, she's, like, all the way up there. She's, like, right, her family's, like, right-hand man to the king himself. So, basically, outside of the kingdom itself, no one has more authority than them. 
and she and she just busts out the crest, and the other guy, you know, the guy owned the mansion or the manor, excuse me, has he has no case now. He can't threaten the judge or anything because the you know the boss showed up basically. Now she said that she'd do anything that they want to in this court case, and obviously the <laughs> the owner of the manor was looking at her breasts, and I don't know if he wants to just see them. I don't know if. He wants to do some more sexually explicit things that I can't see on YouTube. Or, well, I probably can, but I don't know. I don't know. I, I generally don't know what he wants to do with this, and I, 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 I got the idea. But all I'm saying is, I don't know if Darkness will like it or not like it. It seems as if, from what Cosmos said before she left, it seems as if she was going to like it a lot. But, uh, yeah... So, after she left, and it foreshadowed, they're probably going to go save her or something. Um, I would imagine so, because if you're going to have a scene like that where he's just looking at, bre looking at her breast and says anything, then they never get away with it. I highly doubt Darkness is going to come back in the next, you know, the next episode and be like, yeah, I showed him my tits, or yeah, I banged him. I, I, I just don't see that. I just don't see that. Because obviously they want to put a big emphasis on her leaving in the first place. So we, I saw an army. Whenever they're walking up to the door, I actually saw the army out of the corner of my eye. I kind of like, oh no. I was like, oh no. What, what, what's about to happen? So they're seizing the property in, in his house. She will repay the debt that he owes. So basically they're saying, hey, we're just going to take everything you got. And that should... That should come out about even. We should break even on the you know, payments you owe. So instead of taking cash. Now, that's kind of a blessing in disguise in a sense because they can always get new things piece by piece rather than trying to pay something in full, you know, a few million. And if you guys didn't notice this, they took the tracksuit. Did you see Cosmo on the ground? He had two people pinning him down. The tracksuit was the only thing that he's going all out for. Like, he is hanging on to that son of a bitch for dear life. Like, I was dying, dude. I was just like, oh, no, not the tracksuit, please. <laughs> but other than that, great first episode. I loved it. I can't wait to see more. Hopefully this sells amazing, too, so we get that season three. I would love to see this show go to, you know, its final chapters or whatever light novel volumes or whatever i don't i'm pretty sure it's not even done yet but i'd love to see it through all the way to the end but i'm taking it's i'm taking the anime's way far behind the uh light novel because unless there's not a death memory light novels out of time given the last one's only 10 episodes so i'm not sure what i'm sure this one's gonna be 12 because it's probably like, oh this is a good product to sell so obviously let's give them more content let's make more money so they'll have like an extra volume in production i think if they do that too so at the same time now I'm, I'm picturing it's very far behind the volumes, light novel volumes, because they pumped out a second season. Literally, they just skipped summer. They, well, they skipped spring, skipped summer, skipped fall, and they came back in winter. So, it's, yeah, like a year's time. Yeah, it's, it's a year's time exactly. Literally. So, as always, guys, you've been Hex. Be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter at Hex25, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Thanks for watching, guys.